Okay, trappers, so I told you about those pond dams and how they're hot spots, good spots to set for about anything crossing over. You saw there the other day I had an otter and a one and a half going over one. Uh, like I said, I'm using these double jaws mostly. All right, so he is with these one and a halves. So find a low spot and a pinch point. I mean, you're, you're kind of looking for both. And then you just set your one and a half and you catch fur. All right, there's my set. All right, and this is a trail going over a pond dam. So anyways, we'll see if that produces. Well, trappers, nothing spectacular about this coon. I just wanted to show you those uh, pond dam sets. This is uh, another one I didn't film. I only set two, checked for uh, this day three, which is a little longer than they'd usually take to produce, but we were at 70 degrees one day, 68. Had a cold front move in and it produced. So anyways, uh, these uh, pond dam sets do, do produce fur. Uh, and here's just a, your average coon to, to prove that. Uh, might just be big enough to dispatch. So, anyways, on the next one. Hey, trappers. So, haven't been showing any catches in a while. Nothing special here, but uh, got us a nice coon and a DP. So, we'll take that for the night. Move on to the next one. Hey, guys. So, I've been trapping this spot for a couple years, and I had, uh, I was trapping the uh, overhead trail, and I thought, man, there should be a culvert, and there was. It was tucked down in here, uh, kind of hidden away, so always get out and check your spots, even if you've looked them over good before. This was usually co covered up quite a bit better than it is now and uh, these sets are simple I'll show you kind of what I got going on here took me a few seconds to make already done I staked right before I started filming you see right there there's my one and a half culvert staked over here anyways that should produce you got to check these spots out because uh I've been setting this for two years, and uh, I had no idea this culvert was here. I kept looking. I thought there should be a culvert here. Kept not finding it. It was covered by brush. Well, the county mowed the ditch a little better this year. Boom, found the culvert. There's a good trail going through it, so I put a one-and-a-half line set right in front of it. So, uh, Cold front's coming in tonight. Let's see if anything's moving and we get something here. Hey, guys, look at this. Finally uh, connected today. Yesterday I checked my line, took most of the day off, and uh, kind of regrouped, got my truck together, and putting out more sets today, and got a nice big coon here. I'd say that's a, a winner for the day, so on the next spot. Hey trappers, special morning. Be Bobcat number two, Duke one and three quarter on a blind set trail right there it went right through there but you can't see that now but that's a pretty nice cat we're going to call that a win for the day cat number two this season